ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Today we are at Five Star Intercontinental Hotels, one of the most luxurious hotels in Lagos State, in Nigeria and in the heart of Africa. As a matter of fact, Intercontinental Hotels as well as Chivas have put together a top-notch event to honor 100 men in Nigeria who have contributed immensely towards developing Nigeria. 100 men, the likes of T.Y. Danjuma, the likes of Aliko Dangote, the likes of Wole Shoinka, to name a few, would be awarded tonight for their giant strides in the development of our great and giant country, Nigeria. Well, my name is Wafai Samuel and I'm right here on the Black Carpet. I'm going to be conducting my interviews with different people, so stay on point and let's give you the tidbits of everything that's going on right in here at Intercontinental Hotels for this auspicious and well-revered event. I am extremely Nigerian and I love Nigeria. I'm a Nigerian, proudly Nigerian, and I love Nigeria. And I wish I was extremely Nigerian. <laughs> I love Nigeria and I'm extremely Nigerian. And I love Nigeria so much. They entertain you 247. Keep watching, don't touch it. Proud. I love Nigeria. I love Nigeria. Don't touch it. 100 men would be awarded, and your boss, as a matter of fact, would be awarded tonight. What's your perception and opinion about this initiative? Well, I think uh, it's, a, it's a good event. Uh, it's, it's good to honor those who have served and given back to society. And uh, I think that's the whole idea of this uh, Shiva's Top 100 Men in Nigeria. So, um, well, I would like to see who else will be there. You said my boss is going to be honored, and which is, which is good. But I'd like, to, I'd like to see the other people who have also contributed to society. And uh, I think uh, that's, that's all in all. As a key player in Fashola's administration, now he's actually contributed so much, like I said, to the growth and development of the Lagos State as well as Nigeria. What's your message to everybody out there who is in a position that is of public importance and relevance? Well, it's very straightforward. The leadership role is one to, for you to serve, and that essential is what you need to do. And to do that, you need to work very, very hard and also work as a team, have a vision, and aim to fulfill the vision. I love Nigeria. I am extremely Nigerian. My name is Tima Gomashola Isley. What are your own personal expectations from this event? I think perhaps a recognition, a little bit of networking, and uh, just getting to know everyone. That's it. My name is Marc Lambert. I'm the resident manager of the Intercontinental Lagos. And we have officially opened this hotel yesterday. And we are very pleased and very honored to start with our first gala dinner event, big event, star event of the week and maybe of the month with Pernod Ricard and the relaunch of Shiva's Regal. We're honored to be um, amongst the top 100 men in Nigeria. I think it's just an awesome awesome initiative and it's really interesting to see everyone really coming through it's almost like we're starstruck but we have a lot of surprises planned tonight and we're very excited putting together such a top-notch event for men in nigeria i don't i, I don't really get it what, what informed it we begged them for about two months if we could please come here and they finally said yes <laughs> but i mean in terms of the partnership yes it just made sense because our brands are, are highly luxurious and so is the hotel is quite iconic in nigeria so it, it made sense for a partnership but we really wanted to to do something that was different we really wanted to I mean a lot of people have things to say about Nigeria they're not necessarily as rosy as we know it to be but we wanted to celebrate something positive and we thought there are people here in various industries doing things so could we possibly get them all in one room together and honor them and it went from concept to fruition and here we are today and we're looking forward to a successful night God willing yeah. What can you say about this whole initiative and package? Yes, well, I can say that it was a great idea to, as uh, the charming lady was saying, Maria came to see us about two months ago about trying to organize something special for the relaunch of Shivas. And it was great happening because we were in the opening of this hotel, the pre-opening. And it, as we said, really, it's not a joke. We have opened this hotel yesterday, you know? And, and what we wanted, it was really to partner with 
a group that uh, recognizes as well quality, uh, iron people. You know, this hotel is only and the first five-star hotel in Nigeria. There is none other. And we have open, we have we have four restaurants, we have two lounge bars, we will have a third one later on. We have a very large ballroom. So we want people to sh see our product, to test our product and to see the difference. Extremely Nigeria. I am extremely Nigeria, Niger babe. Saleko. I love Nigeria and I'm extremely Nigerian. We have one of the business development coordinators right here, but I'm not going to be talking much about him. He's going to introduce himself. Hi, how did you? I'm fine, thank you very much. My name is Maya Algunusi. I'm the business development coordinator for Sea Wolf Oil Field Services. What do you love most about Nigeria? See, Nigeria is a country that's greatly and vastly blessed. Um, we're a country that's still surviving, even though we have things that seem to be going to the negative for us. We're a place that is to be grown, to be developed. And I'm here because there's a bunch of people, 100 people, who have made that effort to look to develop the country and um, make efforts and be, and they have been recognized for that tonight. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here. It's a beautiful initiative that has been put together by different organizations this evening. What is your message to Nigerians alike worldwide, Nigerians alike in Nigeria? Um, these people serve as an inspiration to people like myself, people who are the founders of my organization, and to Nigeria as a whole. So it's more of um, take from the example, you can be someone, you can do something, you can impact your nation. Well, now it's a beautiful event put together by individuals here in Nigeria to honor Nigerian men. What do you think about this initiative? I'm delighted. I'm just uh, surprised my friend Balai Shaku is not on the list. <laughs> You're 160 million and counting. So there's uh, a lot of great people, fabulous people. And, you know, like everywhere else, uh, a lot of, I mean, some uh, other people, you know, so. How does it feel to have your husband among the list of 100 most influential men in Nigeria? I think this is coming um, a day a bit a day late because he's worked so hard. I can say that for him. He's worked so hard and I'm happy Chivas is recognizing men like him who've given their best for the country. What inspires your husband to be so influential? He always tells me that he's from the minority and that all through his uh, work life, he's had to work for himself if you know what i mean there's no godfather influence god has been there for him so he gives his best for everything he has to do so i think that's been the mo motivating factor for him what's your message to so many other persons who are actually rich so many other persons who are actually very influential but they're not using their powers in the right direction what message do you have to send to such nigerian men i don't know just try to leave a mark leave something that you want your children to enjoy as well be the example you want other people to follow don't be like a bad person that people are told to avoid not to be like this person don't be like xyz to take on this initiative and innovation that's been put together by five star luxurious intercontinental hotels well i guess it's about time for um honor to be given to whom honor is you you know men who have stood out over time in nigeria contributing one way or the other to the development of um, Nigeria and Nigerians. So um, it's about time. Yeah. Have a wonderful time out inside. I will. I intend to. And I hope you have a wonderful time talking with people here. You are watching Najizi. And talk to I tell you how much I love Najizi. Not, not too bad, man. Gang, gang love on replay. I love you guys. I'm more coming for you guys. Please keep doing what you do because you are good at it. Love you. It's good to have you here. Thank you. I'm happy to be here too. I'm His Royal Majesty, Ebitimi Banigo. I'm one of the awardees. It means you have contributed immensely to your own cabinet. And what drives you and inspires you? We're great people. We need to be properly motivated to achieve our potential. That's what I live for, to see the day when we can take our rightful place in the community of nations. Your husband is going to be awarded tonight. First and foremost, how do you feel about it? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm happy for him. I'm happy for all the others. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the hotel looks like.
And I'm extremely Nigerian. Keep watching Nigeezy, do not go anywhere. Watch yourself before you wreck yourself. Right now, I need you to keep watching Nigeezy. Yeah, son! Boom! Hey, what's up, Africa? It's Brian Okwara. And if you're not watching this channel, then you should turn every other thing off because it's Nigeezy and it's extremely Nigerian. So stay tuned and don't touch that dial. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only...